Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today's video is about how to fix noisy photos. Now, noisy photos is something that I've been struggling with for a really long time, especially when I was doing my photography course. It was something that came up a lot and I didn't know how to fix it. But now, since I'm older and I'm a little bit more experienced with cameras and stuff like that, I've been practicing and learning how to fix that. And if you don't know what noisy means, it just basically basically means grainy photos. Like those little spikes of grain in your photos that don't look very pleasing. Yeah, that's what noise is in, noise is in photography. That is really annoying and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So, in the video I'm going to show you pictures of one photo without grain and one photo with grain so you can see like the difference in what I'm talking about. First thing that you need to know and how to get rid of it is your ISO. Everything related to grain and lighting is in the ISO. Um, if you don't know what ISO is, it is your camera's sensitivity to light. The lower the number is on your ISO, the less light is coming into the camera, if that makes sense. So the image is darker unless you're outside then you're getting natural light. In that case the ISO should be set to 100 but the higher the ISO number goes the more light it's going to give to your photo and this is an awesome thing in DSLR cameras but it's not very awesome because when you raise up your ISO number it also introduces grain into your photos and it's not very pleasing and it just doesn't look very good. So I'm going to show you a picture of a photo that I took of this little Mickey Mouse toy with grain and without grain. So the difference is is that when you need to raise your eyes so you were in a dark setting. And if you were outside and it is dark, you're going to have to raise up your ISO. But that introduces grain, so what you need to do to avoid that is to bring an off-camera light or, any, or just any type of light to kind of compensate for that so you can keep your ISO number as low as possible. So you don't get grain in your photos. So what I mean is when you're outside in the daylight and the sun is shining, your ISO can be at 100 because your camera is getting enough light from the natural light outside from the sun and you don't need to raise your ISO because if you do then the photo is just going to turn out white and super super overexposed so if there is not enough light outside and it's kind of cloudy dark and your photos don't show up as light as you need them to be that's when you raise up your ISO or another way to avoid this is to just underexpose the photo in camera and then go to post processing and when you edit it you bring up the exposure you bring up the highlights the shadows you basically tone up everything you bring out all the details inside the photo and that's what professional photographers do they underexpose the cameras the the photos in camera on purpose so then they can bring out all the details later on in post-processing. So that is another way to get rid of grainy or noisy photos. Notice in the photos that I showed you of what I took pictures of, the one with the grain has less lighting because it is indoors and indoor lighting can be really really bad and therefore you have to bring up your ISO number to compensate for the lack of good lighting in indoors and that could end up resulting in more grain in your photos. If you're doing indoor photography you need to make sure you have a good lighting setup and good lighting equipment because just using your lamps and your your ceiling fan light and stuff like that it's just not going to cut it for the photo because cameras read a lot less than the human eye can so whatever looks good in the real world has to look good on camera and it's not always going to turn out that way 
So what you need is more light entering into the scene, which translates into the camera. And therefore you can have your ISO number as low as possible while still getting a good exposure in your photo. And if you don't, you can always fix that in post editing and that's what post editing is for. But that's what I do and in the second photo with less grain, I had more artificial light. Like more artificial powerful light in the photo so I could bring down my ISO to a lower number and there would be no grain because I don't have to turn my ISO number all the way up which will introduce grain and will make the photo a lot lighter in exposure. Okay guys, so those are my little tips on how to reduce or completely eliminate noisy photos and grain and all that weird stuff in your photos. I really hope that you liked this mini tutorial and and let me know if you have any questions I'll be willing to answer them and I really hope that this was helpful this is what I use to get rid of all the noise in my photos completely I don't edit them out I just try to get it right the first time in camera bye guys Merry Christmas <laughs>